now. Let me take you to a world that I've seen through my best invention, the iconic screen. They're friends and animals, the iconic holes. So come along with me and I'll tell you more. <laughs> Hi there. The rubbish collectors are coming later on today, so I have to sort out all my rubbish for recycling. Recycling means reusing things instead of throwing them away. And this is great because it helps the environment. Now, you can't recycle all your rubbish, but there's plenty that you can recycle. Plus, it makes it easier for the rubbish collectors if you've already sorted out your rubbish according to what it's made of. Plastic cardboard and paper, and metal. Although, you might sort yours out a bit differently. Now, I've got lots of rubbish to sort out. Most people have to sort their rubbish out by hand, but not me. Now, out of all of my inventions, this is probably the most useful. The Recyclo Sorter. <laughs> Rubbish goes in the top here. Ah. A bit of cardboard. And just like that. And then it comes out sorted here, here, and here. Prepare to be impressed. Looks like I'll be sorting out my rubbish for recycling by hand today. Hmm. Many hands make light work. To the iconic screen. With the wave of my hand, let's explore wonderful lands never seen before. The iconic screen, my most amazing machine. The i i i iconic screen. Wild wilderness around the garden branch Down on the farm by the water's edge Guess which Iconicle is coming to play Can you guess which world we'll visit today? Now this is where the fun really begins. <sighs> so, which Iconicle could come lend a hand with my recycling? Who would you like to catch up with? Splish and Splash. We haven't seen them in ages. Hi, Splish. Hi, Splash. Hi, Nat. <laughs> Hi, Nat. Wow, what's all that mess? Uh, well... Let's go and have a look. Scotty wouldn't be pleased if we made this much mess on the shore. Well, I wasn't too pleased myself, Splash. I was trying to sort out all my rubbish for recycling into these plastic paper and metal boxes, but things didn't exactly go to plan. What's recycling, Nat? 
Oh, it means reusing things instead of throwing things away. Look, there's paper. There's plastic. <laughs> and some metal foil. <laughs> I was hoping you two might help me sort all this out. Help sort rubbish? Yeah. Well, we could make a game of it. A game? Yes, please. Just a sec. What's that noise? Sounds like Salty snoring to me. <laughs> it's coming from the Iconis screen. Let's check it out, shall we? It's coming from the wild wilderness. <coughs> what? It's pom pom fruit day. Pom pom fruit today. Pom 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 fruit day. <laughs> Don't be such a grumpy rumpy rumple. The darling little pom pom fruits are falling bloppity wop from the tree. It's the bestest, most pomtastic day of the whole year. It is. And, as it only happens once a year, we should make sure we have fun. Last one to the pom-pom tree is a grumpy old rhino. Pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom-pom <laughs> fruit day. Pom-pom <laughs> fruit is great for so many things. Like, like... They're delicious to eat, but you don't have to eat them if you don't want to. I like to use them for dusting behind my ears. They're so good for that. Dusty hoof polishing or sniffy nose wiping? It's pom pom fruit day. Pom pom fruit today. Pom 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 fruit day. <laughs> oh, I can't decide what to do with it. I've never ever seen so much pom pom fruit. <laughs> um, the pom pom tree is laughing. <laughs> pom pom fruit, <laughs> too tickly. Oof. I'm not ticklish. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shh, shh, Rumpel's coming. Let's play a trick on him. Group Pom Pom Tickle. Quick, hide. Where? Where? Hide. Twinkle, Z, surprise! <laughs> surprise! <laughs> surprise! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop wasting the fruit. There's only one pom pom tree in the whole wild wilderness. So we should enjoy it while we can. But when it is gone, there won't be any more for a whole year. Don't worry, Rumpel. We will take good care of it. <gasps> tickle, tickle, tickle! Mm -hmm. I'm not ticklish. Look at all this fruit you've wasted already. I know, but there are so many. Gazillions of them. They are fun. And tickly. <laughs> <gasps> you are ticklish. I am. <laughs> 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 Oh dear. It'll all be gone soon. You need to take care of it. We will. As soon as we have played Pom Pom Twinkle. <laughs> hey, don't waste any more. I thought you were going to take care of the fruit. 
<laughs> that pom pom fruit looks tasty. Certainly does. I hope there'll be some around when I finally get to visit everyone at the wild wilderness. May we play the sorting game now, please? Yes, sorting rubbish for re. 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 So what was it called again, Splish? Recycling Splash. That's it. Come on, you two. Right, you two. This is a game we can play to help sort out all the rubbish to get it ready for recycling. I'll hold up a piece of rubbish and you tell me whether it's plastic, paper or metal. And of course, you can play too. Ready? Ready! Right, OK. Here we go. Oh, that's plastic. Correct. I know, that's paper. Correct. And... And that's shiny. It's metal. Correct. Plastic. Paper. Plastic. It's metal. Plastic. Oh, that was quick. Good job. Thanks, Nat. We're good at recycling because we do it at the water's edge. We once recycled rubbish from the beach to make an amazing snow castle. Hey, I bet I've got a picture of that in my files. <laughs> ah, found it. There's your snow castle. Salty made a picture of himself using recycled seaweed. <laughs> there it is. See, we try not to let anything go to waste. That reminds me. I wonder if they've stopped wasting pom-pom fruits in the wild wilderness. Oh, I'm going to pick some more. Look at me, Z. I'm dancing in pom-pom fruit. You said you were going to be careful with the rest. There are oodles and oodles left. No, oh, There's almost nothing useful you can do with squashed pom-pom fruit. And that's all you'll be left with. Hey! Let's play Keepy Uppy. Maybe we should listen to Rumpel and not waste any more. The queen of keepy uppy. Whoopsie daisy. At least someone has some sense. Well done, Rumpel. Mm. Hey, I'm hungry. Me too. You know what I feel like? Lovely, juicy, delicious bum bum fruit. Oh no. It's all gone. No, up there. Mine. I saw it first. You did not. Did. Z, you heard me. You were both so quick. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> oh. Ah. We've broken the tree. We? It's all your fault. Isn't? Is? No, no, it's my fault. Oh, our fault. We should have been more careful. No! Oh no, what are we going to do? I can't believe they wasted all that pom-pom fruit. 
Me neither. Well, we're not wasting anything around here. Come on, you two. Whee! And thanks to you two, all my rubbish is sorted out and ready to be collected for recycling. No, that snow castle of yours, it gave me an idea. There is another way you can recycle. You can reuse things at home. Really? Like what? What could I make out of this? Any ideas? Hmm. OK, you two, I want you to try and guess what I'm making. I'll give you a clue. It's something you'll find in the wild wilderness. Um, you've got lots of pieces of paper. It's something flat. Is it a big flat lake? No, it's not a lake. And now you're rolling the paper around that cardboard roll. It's long and thin. Is it Mongo's tail? No, it's not a tail. Can you guess what I've made? Is it something very tall? That's right. Wow, it's a tree. Yes, yes, a tree made of paper. It's like the trees in the wild wilderness. Oops. Matt, look out, the paper tree fell over. Just like what happened to the pom-pom tree. Hmm, but I think it'll take a bit more than sticky tape and glue to fix a pom-pom tree. Let's go and find out. <laughs> just a little bit this way. Oh, uh, just a little bit that way. Look, this is terrible. What have you done? I was just trying to reach the last fruit. So was I. We all were. Well, because of you three, the tree is broken and the fruit is all gone. We are so sorry, Rumpel. Breaking trees is bad. And there will never be pom-pom trees in the wild wilderness ever again. Oh. Twinkle! <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Yes, there is. Oh, I, I mean, there is something we can do, isn't there? If we can find some pom-pom seeds in all this mess, we may be able to grow a new pom-pom tree. Lots of new pom-pom trees. What was that? Couldn't hear you. Ear full of pom-pom seeds. No, <gasps> don't! Let's not waste anything else today. One, two, three, four. That's one each. Or two for Mungo. Or, or maybe Rumpel can have three and... One each. Super! Remind me, Rumpel, how do we turn this little seed into a big tree? First, you will need to dig some holes. Watch out, Twinkle. I just finished digging that hole. Oops. Sorry, Mango. Then we plant the pom-pom seed. Then you plant the pom-pom seed. Yeah! Mungo first. <laughs> Do we sprinkle them with water now, Rumple? Yes. First the hole, then the seed, and now it's time to sprinkle it with water. <laughs> Sorry, Mungo. It's all right, Twinkle. Is it time to use sticks from the old pom-pom tree now, Rumpel? Yes, Z. The stick will give the new pom-pom tree something to grow up. <laughs> Maybe next time a smaller stick would be better, Twinkle. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Now we fill the holes. What do we do now? Wait. How long? Until after the big rains fall five times. That's a long time. A long, long time. Trees grow very slowly. It's a shame there's nothing we can do with all this squashed fruit. Hmm. There is one thing. More bubbles! Yeah! Um, 
temple. We are sorry about all the damage we caused. Sorry for all the waste. Sorry for not listening. Now I think you've all learned your lesson and won't waste pom-pom fruit or anything else again. We'll have to wait a gazillion years until the new ones grow. Lucky for everyone that I saved a few for you. Wow. Oh, cool. Never much liked the taste myself. Thank you, Rumple Bumple. <laughs> wow, we delicious. If he doesn't like pom pom fruit, how come he saved some? He knew that we wouldn't and that we'd be sad. And maybe he uses it for horn polish or wrinkle remover. Ah, peace at last. No one can disturb me when I wear ear mufflers made from pom pom fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Rumple had a clever way of reusing the pom pom tree fruit. Just like you, we're using the paper mat. <laughs> Do you want to play the who, what, when, where, why game with us? We have to beat the clock. Oh, and it's already ticking. Let's get started. First question. When does pom-pom fruit day happen? Ooh, uh... <gasps> it's once every year. Let's see if you're right. It's the bestest, most pomtastic day of the whole year. It is. And, as it only happens once a year, we should make sure we have fun. Oh, right answer. Yay! <laughs> Did you get it? OK, next question. Why were there some pom-pom fruit left over at the end? Hmm, can you remember? Oh, I can. It was because someone saved some. Uh, Rumple. Let's see if you were right. Now I think you've all learned your lesson and won't waste pom-pom fruit or anything else again. We'll have to wait a gazillion years until the new ones grow. Lucky for everyone that I saved a few for you. Oh, wow. Rumple. Cool. Never much liked the taste myself. Thank you, Rumple Bumple. Yes, it was Rumple. Well done, Splash. Well done, you two. Oh, it's almost time for the rubbish collectors to arrive. I've got to get my recycling boxes ready. Oh. Hmm. Paper box! <laughs> Actually, I think I'll keep this. It's pretty. It looks great, Nat. Come on, Splish. Time to go home. Bye, Nat. See you, Nat. Bye, Splish. Bye, Splash! <laughs> See you soon! Bye! <laughs> right, just got to put these boxes outside the front door ready for the rubbish collectors. See you again soon. Bye.